Sewage water and industrial wastewater can be treated and reclaimed for reuse. There are several steps involved in this treatment, as can be seen at this advanced treatment plant. First, the water is pumped into large covered tanks, where suspended solids settle to the bottom. Then the water is moved to ponds, where it is mixed with specific bacteria that absorb and digest wastes. The water is aerated and stirred to speed up this microbial digestion process. The water is then pumped to another set of settling tanks, where the clumps of bacteria and remaining solids fall to the bottom, forming a sludge. A slow-moving bar skims any floating debris from the surface. The sludge from these settling tanks may be sent to an incinerator or a landfill. The clarity of the water is checked using a Secchi disk, which is a standardized black and white circle of metal. The disk is lowered into the water until it disappears from sight. The deeper the disk is lowered and remains visible, the clearer the water. This disk disappears at a depth of 24 inches. An additional step is needed to purify the water. In this plant, the water is pumped into a tank containing a sand and charcoal filter bed. The filter strains out the last of the suspended solids and absorbs more of the dissolved chemicals, such as heavy metal ions or phosphates. To kill germs, chlorine or other substances are added. Then the water may be treated to adjust the acidity level. Now the water is very clear, nearly free of dissolved and suspended waste. In fact, here it is so pure it can be used for drinking. In some places, reclaimed water is discharged from sewage treatment plants into rivers and streams. It percolates down into the groundwater and is available for further safe use.